They didn't write the code. They didn't study the protocols. They just clicked and owned an entire network. Welcome to the terrifying age where script kitties are winning. And the scariest part, it's not because they're smart. It's because we made it easy. We used to laugh at them. Script kitties, the noobs who ran tools they didn't understand. No real skills, no real knowledge. Just copying and pasting code from GitHub, blindly running nmap, launching SQL map, or firing off metasploit payloads like it's a Call of Duty killstreak. But somewhere along the way, they started winning. While elite hackers sat for hours trying to write a custom exploit, script kitties just ran autosploit and scored access. They didn't debug code one night. They just reloaded a YouTube tutorial and clicked run. Kids as young as 14 are earning $10,000 bug bounties. Take Santiago Lopez, a.k.a. at Try to Hack. He started hacking at 15, and by 19 he made over $1 million just by responsibly disclosing vulnerabilities. These aren't elite coders. They're Google ninjas with good copy-paste timing. They find IDER CSRF broken authentication. With burp suite templates and a good word list, you don't need a PhD in computer science. You just need persistence and an internet connection. They don't build tool, they collect them like Pokemon cards. With ChatGPT, they can ask, write me a reverse shell in Python, and it's done. No syntax errors, no stack trace nightmares. Just copy, paste, and execute. GitHub, it's a gold mine, overflowing with public repositories of privilege escalation scripts, zero days, and automated exploitation frameworks. With a few keywords and a cloned repo, they're inside your machine faster than your SIEM can blink. They fire up Burp Suite, load some extensions, and now they've got auto recon and passive scanning doing the dirty work. Finding weak headers, vulnerable parameters, exposed tokens. Then they jump into Show Dan or Census, typing something as simple as Entitle Login or Port 9200 Country Set to US, and boom. A list of exposed targets across the globe. No VPN needed. These tools learn, adapt, and throw payloads smarter than any human can. And if that's not enough, sprinkle in some social engineering. Maybe it's a phishing email with a cloned login page from evil ginks, or a malicious link masked behind a convincing support message. One click, and they've got session tokens. Maybe even bypassed MFA. They don't ask how it works. They just ask, what's next? Let's be honest. We made this monster. Cybersecurity was never meant to be accessible to the average 12-year-old. But between open source tooling, AI assistance, and a lack of digital ethics education, we've created an environment where any teenager can act like an APT. Here's how oversharing of tools, tools meant for professionals like Cobalt Strike, Metasploit, and Sliver were leaked pirated, or recompiled into cracked versions. Now, they're everywhere, from forums to telegram groups. No mentorship or gatekeeping, we didn't teach them the ethics. We gave them the weapon, but never taught them when to use it. There's no hacker culture anymore, not just download culture. AI lowered the barrier, it writes shell code, bypasses filters, solves CAPTCHAs, and even explains complex topics like buffer overflows in seconds. If you want to break in, AI will hold your hand. We celebrated results, not knowledge. Kids see bug bounty leaderboards filled with teenagers. They see exploit devs struggling in silence while script kitties collect cash. The message is clear. Why learn when you can just run the script? Why it's terrifying? Because now, the gap between capability and understanding is gone. You don't need to know how a car engine works to drive 200 miles per hour into a wall. And script kitties are doing it just that, at scale. They deface sites they don't understand. Ransomware networks run from kids' bedrooms. They post stolen logins on forums just to impress Discord friends. This isn't about curiosity. And now, every failed patch, exposed S3 bucket, or misconfigured Jenkins server is just low-hanging fruits for a kid who barely knows what DNS is. This isn't just a script kitty problem. It's a community problem. It's a culture problem. And above all, it's a consequence of convenience. We created a world where it's easier to hack than to secure. We reward clout over ethics. We celebrate fast wins over deep learning. And now the digital wild west is run by teenagers with Kali Linux and ChatGPT. So what are you gonna do? Keep laughing at script kitties?
or finally admit they've been winning, and it's time to take hacking back? The only way out is upskilling, mastering the tools, studying the systems, and most importantly, teaching the next gen why ethics matter. Because in the end, a tool doesn't make you a hacker. Understanding does. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more real hacking content every week. See you in the next one.